All right, so we've got the we got the other one. I know it's still on the face here, but we're gonna switch it over to the overhead camera. Uh, now you can see the full the full layout over here. Um, what is up? What is up? Appreciate you. First time a watcher. So we are starting. We are starting with some box openings. Um, again, I, my mat looks so pretty, and then I put it on this camera, and it just it shows all the imperfections. Uh, but anyway, we've got uh, we've got some unboxings to do first. Uh, appreciate the follow British bread. You guys are killing it with all the follows today, all the subs, bits, all the good stuff. Uh, eventually we'll get that hype train going. And once we get the hype train going, we've got the hype train, uh, video song, whatever you want to call it. Um, that is, that is a ton, a ton of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's taken a long time to get this set up and I want to do like, at some point I'm going to do like a little walkthrough of the room and the setup, but we've got, we've got tons of tons of cameras that have evolved over the last two and a half years of uh, of streaming through the pandemic whether it is uh the old school uh razor uh webcam or it's what we have up here which is my phone actually uh we've got the actual camera that we got earlier this year thanks to you guys and all the donations uh for the main cam uh but yeah just kind of kind of slowly piecing it together we still have some DIY. you'll see the green screen come down a little bit which is uh, Mrs. Dan took a piece of fabric uh, and did that. Let's actually, uh, let's, while I'm talking, let's see the face. Um, uh, let's open up that one. All right. That way you can actually see me talking. And it's not just my hands and a genie uh, being weird. So we've got genie. We got the seven inch uh, figure. So let's kind of go through it real quick. I'm not going to put on the gloves like I did that one time. I'm telling you, I put on the gloves because I was working out in the yard. Uh, and I had some nasty fingernails and whatnot uh, from digging in the dirt. So now we're good. They're all clean. We're good to go. Um, yes, we're gonna we're gonna open it. Like I said, I had some I had some black gloves. It it, ma it makes me feel more professional, but it also makes me feel weird. <laughs> see, I need I need the gloves, right? That's that's what I need. So uh, we got the Mirrorverse toy. You can see on the back here. This is just Genie on the back. Uh, if it were to be part of a line, so there was only the one when Genie was released, you would see the other cards. So we open up Baloo, if you guys didn't know. I'm hoping that's not too blurry, but we'll, we'll get a couple different angles of it. Uh, we opened up the Blue a couple streams ago. Uh, we got the Donald this time. Sully will come on a future stream. Uh, but the, the characters are pretty cool. They're, they're really detailed. They are McFarlane toys. Um, and they come with a little card. Um, so let's see. We do need scissors. Let's grab some scissors and open this bad boys up. Man, I did not. I did not. But that would man, that would uh, that would be really bad. I also I also do not understand why anyone in their right mind would ever open a pack that's worth like more than 50 or 60 bucks. Uh, the pack itself, right? Especially like alphas and betas, like the potential variance. Come on now. The potential variance in the fact that you may open up a uh, $100,000 pack or whatever. I don't know. They're not $100,000, but they're, they're thousands of dollars and get one of the worst cards would scare me so bad. I would not want to uh, want to ever. I'm, I'm not that. Uh not that risky i'm not that big of a risk taker uh yuri with the sub appreciate you man 18 months see you guys yuri has been with us for 18 months in the dan cave there's a few of you guys out there uh that have been well over a year but you've got the merlin beard already going killing it and eventually one day hopefully who knows maybe we'll be a partner we'll get more badges beyond the one year uh but as of now one year is as far as we go so within the box you can see we've got genie he is uh strapped in here so we're gonna open him up um we've also got if we take this out real quick we've got a card back here so each of these guys comes with a card and there's genie stand so we'll open that part up the card doesn't do anything the card doesn't do anything so just be aware um hopefully in the future hopefully in the future these cards will do something um so we'll uh, we'll get those guys out. We'll put them back in. Uh, but the card, if you guys haven't seen them, 
It's like a little playing card here. You can see he's a tank in the game, Genie, his picture. And on the back, he's got a little bio. Um, actually, let me, let me do this. Maybe this camera can see a little better because we can get a little closer. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this is, maybe this is worse. I don't know. Here's Genie. Here's the back. You can't read it. You can't read it either way. Maybe here. Can you read it there? No, the glare, the blur. I don't know. There we go. There we go. That should be legible. Uh, so we got GD. He is a tank. He's got some stats in the bio. Now, this is going back to that question. We'll be hanging out with Unstable Gamer later today. He was here for Alpha. I don't know if any of you guys uh, were also here for Alpha in the chat, but maybe those are similar to what kind of stats they had in Alpha. Um, but let me uh, let me move that off. Uh, but if if maybe that was what it is. If not, maybe yeah maybe maybe that's uh maybe that's something with like a game that they're gonna maybe produce at some point in the future i don't know but yeah we are we are stacking up the cards uh we are stacking up the cards we've got a lot of these guys and the other cool thing about them is the border uh is based on these series so the white border i believe is series two so we're in series two with these so i'm wondering what series three will be uh and if you guys haven't seen series three is on the way they have announced uh officially we've seen a look at maleficent and captain hook as a seven inch and the websites have no pictures but they've announced baymax and anger as a five inch character so we have those four at least uh announced so far uh as figures which seem pretty cool so excited about that can't wait uh the one thing that i don't like so here's my here's my only thing any of the capes they just put like a slit you guys can see it right here. They put like a slit in the plastic and then you have to pull them through the plastic. I do not like this because uh, I feel like I'm going to scrape the cape. Maybe it's resilient enough that it doesn't matter. And I'm going to also apologize if uh, if this is loud. Uh, but yeah, you have to kind of like pull it through the slit and the capes don't actually really fit. The slit is not as wide, so you kind of have to pull. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Bell was the same way. Mickey was the same way with their capes. All right, so let's put this down there, and you can see Genie right here. Um, again, as far as articulation here, we've got uh, arms, uh, elbows. This is the seven inch. It's going to have a lot more articulation. You've got the wrist uh, that can twist and move, so you can pretty much pose these guys. The shoulder. Has another joint there so you can pose these guys kind of whatever you want the head not too much movement that beard that epic genie beard is uh kind of preventing them plus the cape and stuff uh let's see we've got um, feels like it moves but it doesn't there there's like okay there's a little bit of movement and his waist but because of this little piece it doesn't really want to move too much um, and then the tail here. So the tail is going to go down in. So you can see the full the full figure. There we go. Up, down, left, right. It, it's weird when you're on camera. Uh, there's the full figure with the tail. Uh, so it looks really cool here. We'll open up the other camera so you guys can, uh, can see him standing up. And then I'm going to check. Why is it so zoomed? it's not bright enough let's turn on turn on the light get that focus on that genie so you can see him uh and let, let me read a couple couple uh statements here all right uh you still picked ariel even after her nerf she still seems pretty solid to me yes ariel is still good uh she's still good uh the thing they took away is like where you could stack up to like 20 plus stacks uh, if you knew what you were doing, you still had to run a specific team and know how to do it. So that's where, like, again, I don't think the nerf was as bad as it sounded just because of that. All right. So you can see the genie. Let's grab Buzz. This is one of the previous updates. So you can see how big Buzz is compared to genie. All right. So here's Buzz with his wings. Same kind of size. These guys are pretty hefty guys. They're genie's lighter than Buzz. Buzz is Buzz is a rock. Buzz is a rock, but you can see Buzz right here with Genie. 
kind of going off uh, from that angle. I'll, uh, I'll set them down so you guys can see them from this angle. We'll move those scissors out of the way. Uh, but yeah, there's so much detail in these guys. Like, uh, let's see if you can see it on this camera, but um, just the detail that they put in all the different pieces, the the clothes and stuff are like, they're different. This is like rubber. And so is this one. They're actually like all, they're all, they're, I mean, he's, he's a hard plastic, but like all of his cape, uh, robe and stuff like that is like a rubber so it just it feels feels quality feels quality um but yeah I'm, I'm liking i'm liking genie there's a lot of little details in these characters um that you can see and like i said you can kind of place them uh you know make them stand however however you want them to uh within this no real articulation outside of the arms though the arms are where you're going to get all that animation from them all right, so let's uh, let's stick him here. Let's stick him here, and then we'll go with the Donald. We'll put Buzz away. Buzz, you already had your time in the light. Go over here. Now Zerg, I think Zerg would be a cool uh, Mirrorverse figure because uh, he's like a Gundam, so he would he'll have some really cool stuff. All right, so looking at this here, we've got Donald, uh, and then from here, once we get through the openings, we're gonna go uh, into some gameplay and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, here's Donald. Uh, like I said on the back here, we already did blue. We've got the fractured Sully uh, a little bit later. So let's open up. Let's open up here. Yeah, Donald Donald looks, I, again, I really love the amount of detail that they put into these characters. And then they really thought through um, what they like, what they were going to do with them, right? So Donald, the sailor hat, the sailor, his, uh, his weapon is an anchor. Like it just, it, it, it astonishes me especially if you look at just the tiny details uh within the game too you can see it uh like rapunzel's frying pan all the details around it uh including the the sun that's in the middle of the frying pan just so so great all right so we've got donald we're gonna pull him out we've got let's see the donald card all right like i said before you've got the card Nothing, nothing too special, but you got the, the card there he is a tank. We flip him over. You've got his stats, a little bio, uh, everything about him there. Uh, we, we have, we have a stack of cards now between all the openings that we've done. Um, we've got Donald. So let's grab Donald. Let's make sure he's not strapped down anywhere. And we'll grab his his anchor. Okay, we'll put those over there. All right, so weapon, uh, a little bendy, a little bendy, uh, but yeah. So you got some really cool detail. Again, up, down, left, right. It's just it's weird on camera, uh, but yeah, some some pretty cool pretty cool details within that. Uh, Donald, who's already standing up by himself here. Donald looks really good too. He's got, uh, if you guys can't tell, he's got some really cool um, just reflectiveness, so like metallicness of that armor. Uh, his his beak is not metallic. So in the game, his beak looks a little metallic. Uh, the figure, not, not so metallic. Um, so a lot of really cool details there. Um, there's his hat up there with a little bit of, a little bit of duck hair, the duck tail there. All right, so articulation wise, you've got his shoulders and you've kind of got this elbow wrist action. So elbow wrist action and uh, shoulders, head, um, and that's it. So there's no there's no real body articulation uh, that's there. As far as posing, you can do that. And then uh, with his weapon here, he's got a closed fist. and uh well not a close like an open open fist for holding for holding stuff so he can hold his anchor put it down just a little bit maybe pull it in now let's uh let's go over to the side cam donald's a little bit a little bit smaller to get him in the picture Smaller than Genie. If you want to look at scale, we'll put Genie behind him. Oh, we'll zoom out a little bit to put Genie behind him. 
So you can see the the five inch compared to the seven inch uh, figures, the scale that there's that there's there. Now Donald is uh, really small on the on the five inch figure. Um, so we'll see. Let me grab uh, let me grab one of the other five inch figures so you guys can really see scale around this because Donald's a lot smaller. All right, so so they're all like they're all very different in their characters. But here's Goofy. We did Goofy on the last stream, um, but you can see Goofy's another five inch. We've also got Mickey, who's kind of one of the shorter five inches. So we can kind of put him here so you guys can see. So uh, let me put him kind of on the same same line. So you can see Donald's Donald's definitely one of the smaller figures of the Mirrorverse. Uh, yeah, short temper went hence why he's small makes perfect sense. If only if only I did impressions, if only I did impressions one of these days. Uh, Genie is huge. So Genie is that seven inch figure. Uh, I'm going to grab the Jack Sparrow uh, as well. You guys already already got to see kind of the buzz, right? The seven inch buzz. Um, and so here's the seven inch jack. So like I said, tonight, guys, we're going to plug the stream all day. We are streaming all day. And there's a follow. Appreciate you, Eddie, with the follow. Uh, here's the jack. So here's the jack sparrow. Uh, Wacky Moose Bell with the follow as well. Appreciate you guys so much. Uh, you can see Jack Sparrow, same height as Genie. So these are the seven inch. These are the five inch. Uh, 